Hi, IO Live. It's Todd Kerfelman, and I am here with Asad Nawid, who is a software engineer on AR Core. So, uh, Asad, what's new in the world of augmented reality? Hi, Todd. Uh, so today at uh, IO, we're announcing two new features in AR Core that we're really excited about. We are announcing augmented images and cloud anchors. Okay, those sound very impressive, but what are they? What's, what's augmented images? So augmented images is a set of APIs inside AR Core that allow developers to create AR apps that can recognize and recognize images in the real world and then anchor virtual content with respect to them. So if you if your app can recognize an image that say this portrait up here, then it can make that image come to life and overlay virtual content on top of that image and make it do interesting things that weren't possible before. So what kind of apps do you see taking advantage of augmented images? Uh, one other thing that I'm really passionate about is education. And children's education in particular, you, you could create an app that recognizes the images in a children's tech in a children's storybook. And if kids previously when they're just reading a storybook can now point their cell phones at the storybook and then see the story come to life on top of their books, right there and then. Alrighty, let's check out one of these demos here. Yeah, so this is augmented images. And we'll see that AR Core finds this image and then makes it come to life like that. Whoa! So this is what I was talking about when I meant immersive experiences, is that as we move the phone slightly at an angle, we see that the 3D model actually turns with us. And if we end up going a little closer, we'll see that the effect is much more pronounced. You can actually take a look at the structure of the cubes as they are there, and it's so much more immersive than the standard 2D painting because now you have this box that's reaching into the wall, and the image is no longer there, and it's actually been superimposed by this 3D model that's dynamic and can move, and I can get different perspectives on it dif depending on where I am. So yeah, that's what's really exciting about this. And is this a phone with any special hardware or any special features? What is this that we're looking at this on? So this is just a phone that's running AR Core, and AR Core doesn't have any specific hardware requirements like a short of maybe just like a good camera and a good uh, gyroscope and accelerometer, but that's about it. All right, and here we have another augmented image. Let's see what's going on here. Yep, so this is another image that the app knows how to recognize. And now that it's done that, we can see what grows as we move the phone up. And this then grows into like a massive tree that an artist has put together that's rooted at the augmented image. So if we keep going all the way up, you'll see that it becomes like a really, really, really nice tree. And as you bring the phone down, the tree will ultimately sink back into the augmented image that it detected. So these are the kinds of visual experiences and like things that come to life rooted at images that the app knows how to recognize. And that's what we're really excited to see what developers are going to do with. Wow, that is super cool. I could actually just stay here all day and watch the tree grow and shrink, but I think I have other interviews to do. <laughs> no, you're more than welcome to come back when you're done. All right. Well, if you need me, folks, I'll be hanging out here making augmented reality trees grow. And then the second piece of technology we're talking about were cloud anchors. So, so what is that, and what does that allow me to do as a developer? Uh, cloud anchors allow you to create and host anchors, AR anchors, with and share them between different people and different devices. And that's really exciting because then suddenly you have the ability to create apps that, can, that two people can use together to anchor content in the world and see where other people have anchored content in the world as well. Uh, one other thing that we're really excited about is that this the cloud anchors are actually cross-platform. We're also really excited to announce that anchors created on AR core devices will also be recreatable on iOS devices running AR, uh, running, uh, AR core on iOS. And that opens up the door to so many different possibilities and a significantly larger user base. So now iOS developers can also use AR core cloud anchors. All right. So, uh, so basically, we are setting up a multiplayer game where 
both devices, an iOS and an Android device, are agreeing on the same augmented reality space that they're sharing. Is that basically what's going on here? Yes, that's exactly what's going on here, Todd. I have in my hand an iPhone that's running AR Core on iOS, and Brian is, has an Android device, and we are going to play the same game together. And... All right, let's give this a try now here. That, you can see right there is where uh, Brian has placed his board, and I will place mine here. And when I am ready, we are now going to play a game where I have to fire onto Brian's light board. And when I do that, it effectively lights Brian's board up. And then he has to do, he has to color all of my shots uh, all of my dots before I manage to do the same thing for him. And he is seeing these boards in the exact same place that I am seeing them in. And I can see him playing the game with me, and the, and the only reason why this shared AI experience is possible is because of the magic of cloud anchors. So, yeah, just, uh, just to kind of like reiterate, this is an iPhone, it's not an Android device, and we do have AR Core cloud anchors supported on both iOS devices and Android devices, and we're really excited to see what developers are going to do with this. That is super awesome. I can't wait to play some really fun augmented reality multiplayer games mm -hmm. um, around my living room. <laughs> well, definitely, and yeah, it's, it's a blast for everyone, like the whole family, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was super cool. If you want to see more exciting videos like this one, head on over to g.co slash io slash guide for lots more videos featuring me and the rest of the io live crew.